Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you guys can stay tuned for my next video. And guys, don't forget to like. <laughs> but um, I don't know if you can tell, I'm in the same shirt. My hair is the same as in a previous video. If you guys can tell, please comment down below and tell me which video um, that was on. But uh, my mom came home with a package and in the package a couple weeks ago, I think two or three weeks ago, I'm not sure, uh, we bought these, a pack of 10 reusable pads and I don't know why nobody really talks about these because like it practically will help with um, the waste because when you're on your period you waste a lot of stuff especially if you're using um regular pads always pads or whatever pads you use like you you go through so much toilet paper you go through so much pads in a day especially if you're heavy but you always have to change it like every couple hours so i don't know why nobody really talks about it i know people talk about the menstrual cup but nobody has spoken about reusable pads. I know there's like re this um period underwear thing, but I don't know. I haven't researched into that, but we're trying out the reusable pads. We only bought 10 because my mom was just like, it doesn't make sense to buy two packs and like 20 and it ends up not working and it ends up like tearing in the first time you I have it here this is a mask that I just decided to soak here but this I'm gonna do when it's dry but this is like the smallest one and then on the back it has lace which helps with traction and then these are the little clips and then this is uh, this is the medium right I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> this is medium, the green is medium, the yellow is the night pad, so, or the heavy, if you guys are heavy. And this is the, like, I guess, in a way, kind of panty liners, but also like if you are really light on your last couple days you can just use that and they all have this um white lace and my mom and they also come with a bag that's i flipped inside out and you guys will see it when it's dry but my mom was just like let's see how long these will last i should take a picture of them and then like uh, of them after I use them and then see if there's any stains. So I think I'm gonna soak I'm gonna soak them overnight and then clean them all tomorrow. Hopefully um I won't be too tired tomorrow and if not I'll just do it on Saturday. It doesn't really matter. They can I'm sure they can soak for like two nights. But it comes with this little pamphlet and it's from T Moy if you guys are interested if it's a good thing how do you guys get it not to be like this I don't know and then it comes with instructions how to use which I'm gonna show you guys um, when I'm using them which will be next month because I just finished my period like when did I finish it yesterday or the day before when it was like completely done so when um in the next clip you guys will see you fully dry and then i'll also machine wash them to show you guys to see if it um is durable in the machine wash all right guys so it's been two weeks since i had my last period and i used the reusable top pads and i wouldn't really recommend it if you're traveling and you're staying in um a place with other people for a long period of time because you whenever you use it you have to like either hand wash it well you have to hand wash it and rinse it off and you have or you can use um the washing machine 
and when it's actually wet unless you have it in an open room or an open space where it gets a lot of air it's the material itself smells wet so i don't yeah, know when it's in open air, no it, when it's fully dry it does not smell wet but when it's in open air because right now they're fully dry and it was in open air and it doesn't smell like wet so all packed up this is how it looks um i have the little piece of paper here that i don't think i showed you guys i'm gonna take a picture and put it on the screen and that's just how it where it comes how it comes what it comes with and i used you packed this in here i clean them off and stuff but and then i wanted to fully clean them when i um when I came back home so I had a washing machine and I used this for it so it wouldn't really get all ruined with the lace and this is really big for what it is but um, I don't have a smaller one so I just I would recommend using a laundry bag these are the three sizes the smallest one is this one and this one i didn't really use it that much because um i was using a lot of tampons because i wasn't at my house and i just prefer to use tampons yeah this is not wet <laughs> this is not wet so it's fine so i prefer to not use to use tampons when i'm somewhere else because i don't really like feeling like wet <laughs> down there so yeah and then this is the medium so this is like the daily one where you would use on a day-to-day -day basis I actually find these are very um, absorbent because I and this is the biggest size it's like the sleep one and for this one it's very absorbent like it and it doesn't even feel wet to be honest how long does it last it lasts a couple hours i mean i would sleep with it and unless it would shift it wouldn't leak and it wouldn't feel full like usually i'm sure you guys know this if you're a girl and you've had your period before but when you have um your pad and if it's full you kind of can feel that it's full but with this one, you don't really feel the fullness of it. So I would recommend you buy them. But I would just like say be careful. I thought, I thought, because on the website it said the lace would kind of help with um, friction. It didn't really because they're so wide apart that um, my underwear just goes about this. So it doesn't even feel this lace. So it does turn around a lot. Is it better? Is the medium better than the normal one? No. The medium? Nice. Yeah, I would recommend use this one on a day-to-day -day basis. I did actually try wearing them at the gym. And I do think they're a little bit bulkier than normal pads. But um, if you just wear like loose shorts, I'm sure it's fine. But because I wore like tight shorts, I could kind of see it in the mirror, but nobody noticed it at the gym. Like I was asking other girls to see like, oh, can you see my pad? And they were like, no. Would you recommend it over the normal pads? Definitely. I would definitely recommend this over a regular pad because first of all, there is no rash that you get from it. Second of all, it's less wasteful and third of all it just feels a lot more comfortable on your area because it kind of just feels like you're wearing underwear it doesn't feel like you're wearing a plastic pad on you and i just think that they're really good they don't waste no. you're not really wasting that much yes the only problem is you need to get like two packs because then you yeah, you're washing it every day. Obviously, you need to get more than one pack. You, Mom's actually going to order me another pack because I just wanted to buy one pack and then test it out. And I think two packs is good because like... It will last the whole thing. You only get four of these. Four of the green ones.
you're in your 40s. This video is so all over the place. But you only get 40s. And yes, I did stain it because I was an idiot and put my mask in there to soak with them. When I just got them, there was no blood on them. I just threw in my mask and my mask is red, so it bled. Um, so you only get four of the regular day-to-day -day ones and I would recommend you change them. On the website it said change them as often as you would change um, a regular period pad. So you'd use about two or three a day. But I would say two on a day like you start at like 12 or something so it depends on how often you change your pads how often you need to buy but I think two packs for me is good because oh shoot even these I don't really use much of this one because it's a small one and I would mainly use this one but because this one's like super small I'd normally just use panty liners instead of this one because the end of your period, barely any blood is coming. The problem is you need to walk them every day if you don't have enough. Yeah, but like I'm sure the first time you use um you use it, you would just test it. You just buy a pack and test it and see how. It oh, I would recommend you look up what's in the pad because some of the pads actually had like, um, here. Here had a line underneath the bamboo thing where it just be plastic so it's kind of like you'd be putting plastic on you and you do not want to put plastic by bamboo. that area hmm? bamboo. yeah this is a uh, bamboo sheets they have underneath this one has bamboo sheets underneath um, I'll try to find them find it and link it down below if anything it's called tea moi right here and this, I guess, so this is my third time retrying this. Um, I already finished, I filmed the whole thing, but my phone stopped halfway through. So I was talking about, I was talking about the bag. So this bag is really good because it's waterproof and you can just throw in your used pads in there. And if anything, you can throw all the used pads in the front here and then put all the non-used ones back here because they have two separate different linings so they're very good and then i find this really cute this little hand thing or you can just clip it onto your bag if anything oh also i never said this last time because the pad shifts you need to make sure that the um, black part is actually on your pad because I found myself having a the lot of... The black part on your what? Oh, sorry. The black pa part is like where your... Um, where the blood would go. So like right here is where the blood would go. Instead of going right here because I noticed that a lot of them were shifting, especially the night ones. We're shifting to here. So I know it's because I went to use the bathroom at night a lot. So it would shift and I couldn't, I don't think I would notice it half asleep when it would shift. So you just gotta be very mindful about that, that it would shift and right here would be open. But I think it doesn't really shift when it's on you because it can't really, because you're applying pressure and stuff. So you just gotta make sure with that. But other than that, I think I'm finished with today's video. You compared it to the past, as in? I already did that. The hypothesis. I did that. I did that. You should. So, yeah. Um, I'm sorry about the all over the place in this video. Joshua was here yesterday and I wanted to film it yesterday instead of today. So I'm filming it at like 9 o'clock so I can edit it. Edit it so i can pre-post it because every time i upload a video that um on the day something always goes wrong so it doesn't upload on time so i don't like that so i like to pre-upload stuff and subscribe in today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye the